Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Christy and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And today is going to be a haul video. Um, it is going to be a Goodwill Bins haul video, which I have not done one of those since November of last year because this is the first time I have gone since then. Uh, let's see, today is, what day is it? Today is Monday, uh, March 25th. And I went to the bins um, by myself, not this weekend, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. So it has been a little over a week since I've gone. And I got home and I started washing things and I started just listing them and completely forgot about doing a YouTube video on it. Um, I don't know if you noticed, um, I did put out a video a couple of days ago and it has been the first video that I have put that I've put out in over two weeks. Um, I just haven't really felt like YouTube um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, just been focusing on other things, and you know, I kind of got out of the mindset of it. And I kind of realized by looking at my YouTube stuff that it's been that long since I posted a video, and I'm like, ah, oh, I probably should do something. <laughs> so. Um, I will show you most of what I got from the bins um, the other weekend. Like I said, I did start washing things and started listing things. Um, I did have other things to list, so I didn't like everything I've listed in the last week have not been all from my bins haul. Um, but I've probably listed about 10 to 15 items from there. I did end up getting like 70 items from the bins when I went. Um, I went, like I said, by myself. I was there for nine, 10, for about four and a half ish hours and I ended up getting 70 pounds oh no was it 70 right around that I know I ended up getting 69 items to resell um see if I remember my math correctly because I know I did the math when I got back so it's been about a week I think it was like 69 items somewhere in the 70 ish pound range so I did get quite several shoes and my total was 105. Um, but I know when I did the math of everything, my cost of goods per item was a dollar and 32 cents. Um, when I go to the bins, I prefer going to the bins over going to the thrift store um, for cost of good wise, because it's just way cheaper that way, which means I'm more money in my pocket. Um, I do prefer to go to the thrift store sometimes though, also because you get, I think, better quality items. I don't know why, but this last time I went, when I went to the bins, the, what do I want to say? The um, quality of the items were not there. I mean, they were bad. I actually heard other people complaining and saying things like, wow, this is the worst I've seen it. Like you'd find something really good, like, like I found like an Ariat, Ariat um, vest <clears throat> and turn it over and the front's full of stains. Things were ripped, torn, um, smelly. It just wasn't that great. So. I normally try to stay around and get a hundred pounds when I go to the bins. Um, but this time I just did not have it in me to stay there and try to dig through all of that to get a hundred pounds. So I got what I could get. It's not the greatest stuff that I've ever gotten from there, but I will do my best to show you, um, the majority of the things that I received from there. Um, I am going to try to probably do this in a two part video. So I will do this one now. And show you guys and then I will do another one I'm probably gonna film that one right after this one so I'll be wearing the same clothes so but I will put that out um, two three days after I put this one out so without further ado let's get into what I picked up I think I'm gonna go through the shoes first and then we'll start going through the clothes um, another reason why I don't get shoes a lot at my bins is because they are not the best quality I said this is, it was only a dollar thirty-two a piece, you know, per the pair, but still, like I said, not the best quality. So this is a pair of men's Uggs. There's some Ugg, like flip flops. They got the the Sherpa lining on the inside. They're suede here. The bottoms are in fairly, you know, decent condition. But, I mean, they're not the best shape. I did not count these. I just picked them up. Um, most of the time when I'm at the bins, I do not comp items. 
The only time I comp items is if they're if it's a brand that I've absolutely never heard of and know absolutely nothing about, then sometimes I will comp them. But for the most part, I don't comp items while I'm at the bins because the price is so low that if I end up picking something up and it only sells, you know, for ten dollars or doesn't have a great sell through rate, I only spent a dollar or something on it, so it's usually not the end of the world. Um, these are some Gordon Bush. I don't know if you can see that or not. Gordon Bush men's like suede dress shoes. There's the bottoms. Um, they do need to be reshaped a little bit sitting in that bag. They're kind of, you know. There's the other one. They are a size, if you're curious, size 13. And if I remember correctly, these I did look up and they did have a good um, price. I don't know if the sell through rate was great, but the resale price was fairly good. And the Uggs were, hmm, I can't tell what size these are. It looks like seven and a half. So these might be women's. There's not a whole lot of men's seven and a half. Hmm. Oh no, let's see, nine. So yeah, these are men's. So they're US size nine, UK size is seven and a half. Last pair in this bag, anyway. Seriously. Yeah, or Bandol Broom. These are a pair of men's Kohan shoes. They're the 1928s. Kohan Grand. These are a size, also a size 13, so maybe they were donated by the same person. Who knows? Um, part of the reason why these are probably at the bins is because the Goodwill that had them had them listed for $18. So that's probably why those are at the bins. Let's see, is this a reason why I picked Oh, yeah. I picked this up for my daughter because it says... Yellowstone Bear World and um, when we went to the last year we went to Yellowstone as a family vacation and she had a necklace but it broke and so I bought her this so I could give it to her for just the because. See these I have never seen um, before. I don't I didn't count these either because I have heard of the brand before. These are Born, and they're just a pair of slippers. The insides are okay. The bottoms are decent. Just have to clean them up a little bit, get some of that sm smudge off them. And let's see, these are, you can see a size. This is a size large, nine to 10. So some born slippers. these of course again I didn't look up um, I don't know how they will do they are Skechers Lux foam sandal um, I don't know how much these have been worn before because the bottoms look really super clean they still got that sticker on the bottom so I'm pretty sure these really haven't been worn if at all they are women's US size 10 um, I know usually the stores these are, I mean, not, not pricey, pricey, but like $40, $50 for a pair of sandals. So, you know, I don't think I'll get a ton of money out of those, but they're still worth it in the bins. These are just a pair of mucklucks, like little slippers. They are new with tags, still all together. Again, probably will not get very much for these at all, but they are size extra large. Large, extra large, size 8 to 10. Women's cute little purple slippers. Let's see. The Goodwill wanted $6 for those. <clears throat> These are some Columbia. Looks like some hiking or outdoor shoes. They are... Um, 
Let's see, women's size eight and a half. This is the other one. They're in pretty good condition. Um, the thrift store for these wanted um, $8. These were just some Clarks, like ankle booties. They are a US size seven and a half. Yeah, so they are the Clarks Artisan boot. Really good on the bottom. Pretty sure these should do fairly well. Um, I do not hold things or not list things just because, you know, it's not the right season. <clears throat> a lot of times I will list the items that are in season first, but I will list, like, I don't hold, like, buckets of things waiting for, like, the next season to list them. I just list them as I have them. I know there are a lot of resellers that they'll still buy the stuff, like, right now, but they will wait to list them. Um, I don't do that. These are Azura um, Made in Spain. Um, I know I'm probably, I probably looked these up, but I don't remember what they were. But they are a size 40. This little espadrille sandal. Very cute and spring-like. Let's see if I can see what size these are. They have their leather lining, but textile upper. Oh, they are a size 40. This one. That's right, size 40. I think there's the other one. Great condition. I think there's one shoe left. Oh, I hate those stupid rubber bands. So these, I have no idea how good these will do, if at all. Eddie Bauer is kind of a hit and miss for me, but these are men's Eddie Bauer size 12. Just a nice outdoor sandal, you know, not very much wear at all on the bottom for both of these. So I think those will, I think they'll do good. Like I said, you know, it's Eddie Bauer. I knew the brand. Um, these were in good condition, so I did not, you know, look these up. So that was a total of about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs of shoes. And I think I did list like two or three of them already. So and then we'll do one bag of uh, clothing and then the next, actually, I'll probably show you this too, just to show you real quick. This is the only thing that I got that was a blanket. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not. Um, it is a Vera, Vera Bradley. Uh, throw. It's a very nice, colorful throw blanket in Vera Bradley. From what I could see online, they were selling for about $30 um, used. So we will see. I don't know if for sure I will sell that or not yet, or if I'll just keep it myself. We'll play it by ear. Let's see, the last bag for this video. This is the, by the brand Obey. And it is just a nice weird camouflage hooded hoodie. Um, I did look it up, but again, like I said, it's been over a week. I don't remember what they were, but it was obviously good enough for me to pick up. This is, if I remember correctly, Timberland. Timberland Pro uh, Wick, wear, wick, wick Work, uh, size medium, it is hooded, it's this nice big orange shirt, if I remember correctly, it has like a spell out, yeah, so it has like the Timberland Pro spell out on the sleeve here, if I remember correctly, that was about 20-ish. Dollars. This is an Eddie Bauer classic fit woman's long sleeve flannel shirt. Again, not the best sell through and not the best price, but for a dollar something, I would get it. 
And I don't usually get a lot of children's clothes, but this was Cat and Jack, a little girl's um, size 5T, just jean jacket. I thought it was cute, so I got it. Let's see, this I'll have to look over, but it is Merino Tech. Um, it's 100% super fine merino wool, size medium. Just a black sweater thing. I'll just have to double check it, check for holes, check for like little things like that in there. But from what I could see while I was at the bins, it was in pretty good condition. Let's see, what is this? Oh yeah, this is an Athleta, size large. Just some Capri cropped leggings. I don't know if those will sell for very much at all, but it's a brand I know. The Fletto's kind of hit and miss. Usually if you price it right, it still will sell even if it's not the best stuff. This is just a pair of Victoria's Secret, size medium, little pajama shorts. Again, that is an item that will Hopefully sell fairly fast, but probably will not sell for much more than eight, eight to ten dollars. But from the bins, I'm okay with that. Let's see, this is a size 3X bra from Old Baby. Um, I only got it because it was 3X. Um, I got another one with that, but it was new with tags, so I sold that one separately by itself. This is a BKE Vintage um, Pearl Snap Button Up Long Sleeve. So that is, I thought it was a really good looking shirt. I don't know how much BKE goes for anymore, but we'll find out. These are a pair of Gloria Vanderbilt All Around Slimming Effect Kind of like Capri shorts. They have like a little bit of bling on here. Not really bling, but like little grommet thingies or whatever. But I do not pick up most Gloria Vanderbilt. Um, but there are some parts of it that do better than others. And so I did look this one up. I looked up that exact, you know, style. And it does actually fairly decent, so I picked it up. This is a pair of Walter Hagen. It is just a pair of shorts. Um, yeah, Walter Hagen, it's like a golf brand. Um, I don't think it sells for very much, but shorts, it's coming up with summer. And so I just decided to get them. These are a pair of Liverpool, the ankle skinny jeans in really good condition. Um, one of the items that I already have listed that I got from the bins for the same trip was a Liverpool um, beige colored women's jean jacket, which I've never seen Liverpool jean jackets before, so I did pick that up and list it. I think I have it listed for like $25. My voice is definitely starting to go. This is called Outdoor Outdoor Research. That's right. You won't be able to see it here very well. Let's see if I can find it. I thought I saw it somewhere else on the jacket. So you see, well, the brand is Outdoor, outdoor Research. Um, I couldn't really see it on the actual tag. And I couldn't tell what it was. I could see Outdoor. Um, it's a size medium. It is hooded. But it's also got this like little extra thing in there. It does have the thumb holes on here and it just feels really nice. So I took the extra time to figure out what the brand was to look it up and I figured out it will go probably for between 25 and 30 for that item. So that is everything um, in this haul. This is part one of a 70 pound thrift haul from the Goodwill Benz. Um, if you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. 
um, like and comment and all the things that are free to help me out. I do appreciate you guys watching and saying hi. And I will leave you guys that. Make this short and sweet today. And I'm going to go get a drink. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, man.